as you can see the dial is showing that it's heating appropriately when said light does not illuminate anymore we can proceed to make the waffles turn down for what What's going on guys? Welcome to today's vlog. It's Sunday the 29th of July and I'm starting this daily vlog tonight at around 10 o'clock in the evening. We've just finished a live stream that went on for over an hour and a half. It was fantastic. It was great to interact with everybody. If you weren't in the live stream, make sure you've got the notification bell clicked so it tells you whenever we're going to drop a new live stream. We always do them on a Wednesday and we always do them on a Sunday all the time. So if you check in on a Wednesday and a Sunday, you're definitely going to watch us. But if we slip any in through the week, you, you're definitely going to see us on there then. So we're starting this live stream really, really late today. And there's a reason for that. Because we've been absolutely hammered today with all different things going on in the house. We've been cleaning, we've had Chelsea around, so we've been spending time with Chelsea as well. She's now gone home. We've done the live. So we were sent yesterday a American waffle maker. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go in the kitchen, I'm gonna make this American, these American waffles with the ingredients. Then we're gonna taste test them with the kids. Then after that, I'm gonna show them something that came from Amazon that they're gonna be doing tomorrow. Then we're gonna check, check in with everybody. Chicken, check in with everybody and see what everybody's been up to. Then we're gonna end the vlog. We needed to kind of wind it down a bit today because we've just been so busy and Chelsea's been here and we haven't catched up with Chelsea for ages. So it was nice to have her around. And then she's coming back I think on Wednesday, but we'll be filming the wedding, but we'll see her definitely with her boyfriend when we come back. So I'm gonna go and mix up all these ingredients now for these American waffles and make them. I'm really excited as well because I've always wanted one of these and so has Sarah and they look, well, the machine looks fantastic, so the proof, as they say, is in the pudding. And the only way we can make the pudding is by mixing the ingredients, so let's hop to it. So Dave's just in the middle of making the ingredients for the American waffles. He's just whisking in a minute. You having fun there, darling? Yeah, while I'm uh, doing this, I'm being um, schooled on um, criminal law by somebody through uh, Instagram, which I find hilarious. So yeah, I'm enjoying myself tonight. But, it smells waffly. <laughs> waffly. Mm. Are you gonna try one of my waffles? Yeah. Am I gonna try a waffle? Would Sarah say no to a nice sweet sugary mo uh, waffle? Waffle, come on, waffle. waffle. A waffle. They actually just smell good. Don't you just love the smell of like stuff being baked or like mixed as well? Especially like when you're making um, fairy cakes. I love the smell of the mixture when you're making fairy cakes. It's amazing. Now we've transferred the batter to the jug. I'm now going to pour the batter into the waffle maker to start the cooking process. As you can see, the dial is showing that it's heating appropriately. When said light does not illuminate anymore, we can proceed to make the waffles, as just seen now. <laughs> and now I'm going to pour the waffle mixture into the waffle maker to try and make us some delicious American waffles for you and the children. And now we wait three to seven minutes for the waffles to cook golden brown. All right guys, so I've done the first set of waffles. They've come out amazingly well. They look fantastic, check them out. So I'm gonna give these to Oscar and Alfie to start with. Then I'm gonna do Mason's and Porsche's. Then I'm gonna do Sarah's. Then I'm gonna show them what came from Amazon today so they can see what they're gonna be doing tomorrow or maybe we'll leave it till Tuesday when Mason's back home because he's going back to his dad's tomorrow. But there is, it, it's gonna be amazing when you when you see what it is. It's uh, fantastic and it's like a premium product as well. It's really good. So I'm gonna shout the boys in now and they can tell me what they think of these American 
waffles. Right, go on, tell me what you think. Good. Do you like American waffles? Do they taste nice? One thumb or two thumb? Two thumb fresh. Even you like them, don't you? Yes. All right, Alfie, tell me what you think of them. They're nice. Would you like them for breakfast? Mm -hmm. Well, you're having Rice Krispies. <laughs> but do you like them though? Yeah. Are they better than the ones that you get in the shop? Yeah. That's all I want to wear. All right, tell me what you think of the waffles that Papa made. We should go to America and actually make them with them. Just get that makeup. You like them? Mm -hmm. It tastes like the Mickey heads, but like more wiggle there. It's quite hot. That's good. I like them. And now the moment of truth. Oh my god. Why are you back at America? Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Let's the uh, the Mickey Mouse waffles. Definitely. All right, so I'm going to try some now. I I like the the Mickey waffles, obviously, but I didn't eat them all the time. The kids did in Sarah. Mm, that's awesome. She's so much better than this one. I know you get them in like them little cups, nice. cups, cups, don't yeah. you? The syrup there is better than this one. Really nice. Well, I think that's a result. So, an American waffle maker mm. from Amazon is absolutely it's amazing. For and. I did some research before and it's around £25 so Only if you like American waffles you definitely get one of them 100% alright so I also said that we'd been sent something for the boys because Amazon wanted to send the boys something to test and this has got to be one of the coolest things that we've been sent so far for the boys so I'm going to show them they haven't seen it yet at all so this is going to be like brand new to these they've not seen them you get two inside the packet, so we're basically going to have like um, a war tomorrow or Tuesday. It'll probably be Tuesday, but these are like the best of the best that you can buy. They're almost like professional versions of them, so hopefully they're really going to like them. <laughs> All right, so we'll just do a quick guess. What do you think's in the box? I have our T-shirts. Right. Merch I have our T-shirts. Our t-shirts, awesome McDonald's. Awesome McDonald's, <laughs> right. Awesome cars. Awesome cars, right. Well, I can tell you that inside the box, you have to open it like this. Yes. Wait, sit down. Okay. Sit down, because I'm going to turn it this way first. Yeah? Okay. yeah? Yes. I'm going to show these guys what it is. Yes. And then... <laughs> you ready? Yes. Yeah. Proper Laser Quest guns. For the house. Whoa. So these are the legit laser quest guns. So one second. Laser. One minute. Right. Do you see the bottom of the gun? Yes. See the magazine? Yeah. Well, if you bang the magazine when you're out of bullets, you reload your guns. So have a feel of them. I have. But what, what do you use me? So when you play them, when the batteries are in them, oh. when, you've, when you've used your 15 shots, you tap the bottom and you reload. So they work on optical sensors at the front. So, see the sides where the lights are on them? There? Yeah. Yeah. No, this pit, this part here. This. this bit. Oh yeah. So if you're holding the gun at the side like that, if you get shot in there, you're shot. And also, if you get shot in that at the bottom as well, you've been shot. What so, let Alfie have a hold. What was that? What one's for? Yeah. That's for um, the different game modes. So what we're going to do is, on Tuesday when Mason comes back, we'll have a laser quest battle in the house. We'll put the GoPros on you, and we'll see who's the best out of the three years, yeah? Yeah. What do you think of them? Good. Pretty alright, though. Should we go on to one? Yeah, but guys, the laser quest will be happening on Tuesday, so you're going to see it on Wednesday. Really, really, really pleased with that, that they sent the boys, because they usually send all the girls stuff for Porsche and Vanellope so they finally sent something for the boys which is amazing and they're gonna love that the laser quest so Sarah's just looking at the minute for a new fridge because this fridge is going in the bin 100 percent 
it's getting binned because it's we've had it for like 10 years I think haven't we? Mm. Maybe a bit longer. No, we've had it. About five, six years. About eight years. About eight years, sorry. So it's well, well past its sell by date now. So we need a new one. So we're gonna get one of them ordered. And then I'm gonna finish the vlog after this. We're just basically gonna clean up now. As I said before, it's a very short vlog today because we had Chelsea around. We did a live for an hour and a half, so you've had your money's worth. You know what you have. You've had your money's worth. Could be worse. We could be banging on about the same old crap over and over again and doing ridiculously long lives, but we haven't. So enjoy it. We will be back to normal, I'm sure, tomorrow. And hopefully on Tuesday, I'll be able to show you the update on this printer as well, the Geetek A10. All right, guys. So I'm going to end today's vlog. As I've said numerous times throughout this vlog, sorry that it's a uh, Really short one today, but family comes first, unfortunately, and we haven't seen Chelsea for ages. And I repeat myself again and talking about us seeing Chelsea and blah, 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 but it doesn't matter. That's the God's honest truth. We, there's no flies around us. Just quickly, I have had um, a bit of a breakthrough with this printer. Basically, the, uh, the rail in the middle is knackered. So they are gonna send me another rail out, Geetek, hopefully. So that should be done. It's the rail that's knackered. It must be um, warped in the middle, or it must have been banged, or just, just happened in, sh in um, shipping. There's another guy that said the same thing, but his was a lot more severe than mine. So basically when the bed's going across, it's stopping like that and coming back. So it's shifting it across, which isn't good. So hopefully on Wednesday, when you come back, you'll have seen on Tuesday, I'm getting confused again now, um, hopefully it'll be done. And hopefully the Cheshire Cat will be finished as well for my mum and I can go take it to my mum on Wednesday when we do the wedding. So, do not forget to smash the like button, subscribe if you're not already. Make sure you click the notification bell, it does nothing. Make sure you leave us a comment and we will see you guys tomorrow because we do this every single day.